Hello dear all, welcome to Sunday Education Academy. I am Santosh Vag. In this video, we will see question and try this section, page number 195, chapter Exponents and Powers, Class 8 Mathematics. So, let's start our video and see how to express the expression using the sum rules for exponents and powers. See the question and try this section, page number 195, chapter Exponents and Powers, Class 8 Mathematics. So, question is given, simplify and write the exponential form. Here examples are given and we have to simplify that example and write in exponential form. We know what is exponential form. Exponential form is a raised to m. Here a is base and m is exponent. In this, in this way we have to write. Now to simplify this we need some rules. What is the rule? If a raised to m is one term and another term is also a raised to n here see base is same base is a and exponents are different then this can be expressed as a raised to m plus n means we are adding the exponents keeping the base same are you getting so this rule we will use to simplify the numbers here a is base and m and n are exponents a is base means is non-zero integer so here in first question, first example, minus 2 is base, base is equal to, base is minus 2 and which are the exponents? There are two exponents, for, for the first term, minus 3 and minus 4 are the exponents. So we will use this rule and simplify, so write this term is nothing but base is same, we are writing the base here, minus 2 base and adding the exponents means add this minus 3 plus this minus 4 isn't it if we add the exponents we will get the result so our result is minus 2 and minus 3 and minus 4 addition will be minus 7 isn't it so minus 2 raised to power minus 7 is a simplified exponential form of this expression isn't it now see the similarly second example here base is p base is p which is common for two terms and exponents are which are the exponents exponents are 3 and minus 10 isn't it two exponents are 3 and minus 10 so what will be our answer write base here base is p then add the exponents to the power 3 plus exponent is minus 10. second exponent is minus 10 isn't it so what will be the answer p raised to power 3 plus minus 10 so we must subtract this 3 from 10 and write the negative sign so 10 minus 3 7 sign will be minus 7 so p raised to power minus 7 is our answer base is p and this is the exponent minus 7 so we have used this rule to simplify the example. Now similarly see the third one, third expression to simplify or to write in exponential form. Now see the third example of this, try this section, page number 195. We have to simplify this and write in exponential form. Here, here also we will use the same rule that a raised to m into b raised, a raised, sorry, a raised to n means base is same are you getting is equal to a raised to m plus n here base is a and exponents exponents are m and n a is non-zero integer and these are the exponents here we are adding the exponents and keeping the base same similarly in this example base is 3 base is 3 and exponents are there are three exponents exponents are 2 minus 5 and 6 there are three exponents so similarly we will use the same formula same rule means for this write the base here 3 is the base and add the all exponents because 3 is the base common so add the all exponents 
and write in power 3 raised to 2 plus second exponent is minus 5 plus last one is 6. So what will be our answer? 3 raised to 2 minus 5 minus 3 and this 6 means that will be our answer 3. Isn't it? 6 plus 2 8, 8 minus 5 3. So 3 raised to 3 is our answer in the exponential form. In this way we have used this rule to express or to simplify the given example. This is all for this video. We will meet again in our next video. Do learn. Do enjoy. Thank you.